Keown, a senior research analyst with Thomson Reuters Lipper. And I'm here to talk about the fund flows activity for the weekend of Wednesday, December 6th. Let's, talk, let's start by taking a quick look at the week's market activity. Both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 Index were up on the week. The Dow gained 0.84% and the S&P 500 0.12%. Both closed the week at record highs, with the Dow uh, closing above 24,000 for the first time. This was the fifth 1,000-point milestone that the Dow had crossed this year as it closed 2016, just shy of 20,000. Uh, both indices uh, captured the, the lion's share of their gains for the week on one trading day, November 30th. Uh, both indices were up that day on optimism that the tax bill would pass the Senate. This opti optimism stemmed from Senator John McCain throwing his support behind the bill. Uh, the bill did eventually pass the Senate in an early morning hours vote on Saturday, December 2nd. Let's switch our attention back now to the fund flows activity. We'll start by taking a look at our, the macro fund groups and what they did for the week. Uh, equity mutual funds had net outflows of $11.6 billion. Taxable bond funds took in $819 million in net new money. Muni bond funds saw $930 935 million dollars leave and money market funds had net inflows of just over two billion dollars. We'll take a closer look at each one of the fund macro, group, fund macro groups now. We'll start with the equity, uh, equity fund groups. Equity mutual funds, as previously mentioned, saw outflows last week of almost 12 billion dollars. It was their 24th straight weekly net outflow. Uh, domestic equity funds dominated net outflows again with 10.3 billion dollars leaving their coffers but we also saw a fairly sizable chunk leave non-domestic equity funds this week as well about 1.3 billion dollars breaking it breaking it down a little bit further the largest outflow for domestic equity funds came from the large cap core funds peer group that had just about two billion dollars leave and on the non-domestic side global large cap growth funds saw around 600 million dollars leave their coffers Let's move on now. We'll take a look at the ETF group, uh, the equity ETF group. Uh, net inflows uh, for this group last week, about $14.6 billion. It was their 10th straight weekly net inflow, and this group is on pace for record net inflows for the year. The big contrib contributors last week was the Spider S&P 500, took in about $6.3 billion in net new money, and the iShares Russell 2000 uh, had net inflows of just over $2 billion. Uh, conversely, on the other side, the iShares Edge Minimum Volatility USA ETF product saw about $760, excuse me, $760 million leave their coffers. Let's move on to our taxable, taxable bond fund groups now, starting with mutual funds. The mutual fund group had net inflows of just over $800 million last week, brings their year-to-date net inflow to just shy of $185 billion. Uh, the major contributor last week was the core bond funds group, which had net inflows of $1.3 billion. This brings their year-to-date net inflow to just about $72 billion, uh, the, which, would put, which puts them on pace for the second largest annual net inflow ever for, for this peer group. Uh, taking a, we took a lot more granular look at this peer group this week and saw the major players for the year-to-date within, uh, within the core bond funds group are the Vanguard group and the and Fidelity. Uh, core bond, excuse me, Vanguard funds have, have taken in about $40 billion in net new money in this peer group, while Fidelity funds have about $16 billion in net inflows for this peer group. Uh, let's move on to our ETF group now, taxable bond ETFs. Uh, this group saw net outflows last week, about $271 million. Uh, uh, the, the, the ETFs which saw the largest net outflows last week were the, was the iShares iBox investment grade product and the iShares 1 to 3 uh, credit bond product, which had about $890 million and $350 million to leave, respectively. Uh, on the other side of the ledger, the iShares sh short treasury bond product took in about $550 million in net new money. Moving on now, we'll take a look at our Muni Bond Fund group. Net outflows from this group uh, last week as well, about $935 million. Uh, the, the, these net outflows are spread out, spread out amongst several peer groups and numerous funds. We saw the Intermediate uh, Muni Debt Fund peer group uh, shed about $280 million. The High Yield Muni Debt Fund peer group had net outflows of $227 million, and the Short to Intermediate uh, Muni Debt Fund peer group peer group saw about $226 million leave. Our last group to take a look at this week is money market funds. 
Uh, money market funds took in net new money for the fifth straight week. They had about $2 billion in net inflows. Big contributors to, to that this week was the institutional U.S. Treasury money market peer group and the institutional U.S. government money market fund peer group, which had net inflows of $5.7 billion and $4.3 billion, respectively. Well, that wraps up this week's report. If you'd like to take a closer look at the data for yourself, please join us at our website. It's www.lipperusfundflows.com. And please join us here again next week where another one of our analysts will be speaking about that week's fund flows activity.